thank you, the organizer, for inviting me here. I am overwhelmed uh, by what I've seen yesterday, and I hope you won't be um, uh, disappointed by my presentation, because I'm talking about reality. I'm talking... Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm talking about things uh, w which are happening and the processes we are investigating. We are trying to do as much as we can to introduce daylight into education and into urban planning processes. But it's not an easy uh, task. It's a very complex one when you, when you see the whole city uh, texture. And, uh, just to give you a glimpse of what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to introduce you to my PhD research, <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'm going to talk a bit about the background of the research, uh, then the pilot study. This is actually what I'm going to present, the results of the tiny pilot study, but I think um, it's worth to see how um, students um, react to uh, certain aspects of daylight. And then conclusion, and I'm going to talk about barriers. This is everything in the context of Poland. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the research question for my PhD is, what is the potential for introducing modern daylight design techniques into urban planning in residential areas in Poland? Uh, this is uh, the PhD which is done under the uh, urban department, but I'm lucky enough uh, to have some contacts here in London because I did my master in uh, light and lighting at UCL. And I'm a currently visiting researcher student at University College London. So that's why I have three supervisors, one main one and uh, three temporary one, uh, two temporary ones. And what's the expected outcome? We would like to suggest uh, a draft document for Polish authorities in regards to daylight strategies which can be implemented and to urban planning of residential areas. That's the... That, that, that's the We'll, we'll see whether we'll get there. And my, my research, is, uh, the PhD is research, is just a tiny part of what we are trying to do with lighting education. And uh, we noticed that lighting is not, um, especially daylight, is not uh, taught very well. And uh, we are trying to reach uh, through different levels. We are trying to reach different audiences. And um, we, we are engaged in uh, workshops when we are trying to educate the residents how can we use certain uh, daylight techniques, for example, to improve their well-being. Uh, we are talking. Uh, we, we we are educating future architects because this is one of the requirement of my uh, uh, requirements of my PhD. I need to teach a lot, and because there is no enough lighting hours for me, uh, I'm getting urban composition. So I'm teaching the basic of urban composition as a lighting designer, with the lighting <laughs> design approach. I hope we are trying also to reach practicing architects and fellow academics because believe me or not there are not many uh, scientific papers about daylight in polish so this is this is a gap i'm trying to bridge uh, okay in a city there are many processes and urban uh, planning it's very complex process and we are trying to find out when on which stages we can introduce daylight, thinking, strategies, uh, technologies. This is, this is the core of, uh, of the research. Uh, but what is happening? We, we talk about a lot in Poland right now about energy efficiency. But we almost stop talking about human context and uh, about well-being. This is something which is not... Um, not uh, very much appreciated, I would say, in, uh, in residential areas. And I will tell you why. 
uh, of course we, sh we should change it. Of course comfort is number one. We should be happy with the places we are living in. Uh, just, to, just to give you an idea what I'm doing, I'm going through daylight uh, um, the history of daylight performance indicators uh, in Europe and in Poland. And I'm going, uh, there are like three layers. And I'm also going through residential architecture, history, morphology. Uh, and I'm trying to see, because we have building regulations and we used to have daylight regulations, which were withdrawn in 2005. And I'm trying to see whether those three layers overlap. Whether if we use certain kind of regulations, uh, do they really improve? Uh, uh, conditions of our life. Do they really, um, do they really change the way we design our uh, our buildings? And I'm only considering this on uh, on the level of multifamily uh, buildings. So this is this is just to give you the idea what I'm doing. Those three layers and the question where well, they overlap. And yeah, we have. We have a lot of uh, different kinds of multifamily buildings. Um, I'm trying to see when we are going in which direction with modern architecture. And this is actually the last picture. It's a representation of the modern architecture in Poland. What is your reaction? I mean, when I, uh, when I showed this picture in Berlin, people were like laughing because I said it's a very desirable place to live, a very expensive apartments to buy. It's in the center of the city. Uh, so the scope of the research, those three layers are introduced, uh, the pilot work, I'm going to talk about it. Then I'm going to a real areas and I'm going to talk to the residents and try to, to, uh, to assess daylight using the techniques which are already known to everyone and see how they can how can we improve how they can uh, um, how uh, what we can change uh, are we going into good direction with the daylight knowledge is the comfort is is is, is the right way to go um, it, it's ongoing research so there is a lot of things so Will, which happen, I'm sure, on the way. But yes, I'm, I will be taking the, year, uh, the real measurements and I will be talking to, to residents to assess the areas. And I chose areas designed in the 60s, 90s and contemporary because there were differences in lighting regulations. So that's why um, that was the, the... So these are areas I'm going to investigate. And uh, uh, on my left, there is an area from the uh, design in the 60s. And uh, over there, on my right, there is uh, an area design uh, in, the, in the 90s. Um, there, there were changes in building regulations and there were changes in lighting regu daylighting regulations. So I'm just going to see what is happening. And of course, I have some ideas what might happen. But just to give you a clue, I, I need to throw some numbers because um, why I want to talk about residential uh, and daylight within residential areas. There is a big shortage of uh, residential apartments in Poland. Uh, we're estimating that the de deficit is one to up to two million, which is a lot. And uh, the other thing is, uh, more than 44% of people, they live in the flats in Poland. And uh, when I was looking through uh, numbers in Europe, I mean, it's very difficult to compare to the European Union number because it's an artificial number. But there are some numbers like in countries like Spain, Estonia, the numbers are higher. In UK, only 14% of people, they live in, uh, in the, they occupied flats. So this is completely different environment. Uh, and uh, why? 
why uh, why I got so interested into uh, into residential areas. It's also those numbers that uh, that the dwellings are overcrowded. So it means that we will be building a lot. And there is a severe deprivation, which means that the conditions that we, we need to change, change the, the existing stock, at least 10% of it. I just, uh, just to, I'm, I'm presenting the numbers just to give you an idea what scale are we talking about. Because uh, I thought it will be difficult to compare to European Union, but you're from different countries. You can compare to your own markets what is happening. Um, yeah, this is the area I want to investigate, a modern and a desired one. And please look at the photos with the windows from the interior. Um, we'll see what will happen if I use different daylight techniques and uh, measure the satisfaction of, uh, of the residents over, over there. Um, just one more thing. Uh, uh, just lighting regulations, uh, we have them, they were withdrawn. We have this kind of uh, daylight, uh, daylight uh, regulations within building regulations, but they are not always followed, that's our problem. Uh, and uh, uh, the problems I, uh, I, uh, I discovered or I, I, I'm facing in my research um, are here, are stated here. So the lack of recognition for lighting designer profession is a big one. Dated sources, a lack of daylight practice, uh, and bad communication. That's what I discovered. And just uh, this is the barriers uh, uh, we um, we dis uh, or I um, I uh, talked or um, or. Uh, I put it down under the review of uh, the literature, and uh, this is the survey design I did. Uh, I questioned 82 students, and I wanted to see how they are using the daylight uh, vocabulary, whether they are familiar with daylight knowledge, do they know about daylight regulations in Poland, how they are applying certain kind of knowledge. Uh, we are talking about fourth-year architecture students. Uh, what we found out, uh, they were asked to assess different areas, two schools, uh, 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 then their own dwellings, and then just the, the general knowledge uh, questions were asked. Uh, just the quick uh, um, uh, photos, uh, of course, artificial light is on, of course. Uh, they were asked to play with light as much as they want, and they were assessing the areas. What we discovered is um, that they, um, they assessed the school areas uh, more critically than uh, their own areas. Uh, the other thing was uh, that, uh, for example, the percentage of students who could not name any daylight regulations. And I have to tell you, all those students, were, uh, they passed a lighting course required by their uh, course of study. So they were knowledgeable in terms of education channels. Um, so uh, the, the nicest, I think, uh, uh, result was uh, that there was a big uh, difference between uh, uh, expectation uh, in terms of the view, uh, and the view was much more desired in, uh, in residential areas. So um, this is just the results, what they would welcome. There weren't big differences. And uh, what do we expect from daylight? Yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> and uh, just the overall results. Uh, so the view and the awareness of daylight, uh, but the general lack of knowledge. Okay, thank you so much.